guys, I'm Ben Bullen with HowStuffWorks.com and today we're going to talk about the future of bananas. Now if my editors are helping out, you should see a holographic banana here in my hand. Got it? Okay. So what you just saw was the Cavendish banana. And when you hear a lot of doom and gloom predictions about the extinction of bananas, what people are actually talking about is the extinction of that iconic yellow banana you can buy in most supermarkets. Here's the thing, that wasn't always the banana of choice. Bananas in the developed world have sort of a recent history. It wasn't until the 19th century that we began consuming bananas around the world. And when we did, we didn't start with the Cavendish variety. We started with a different type of banana, a banana called the Big Mike or the Gross Michael. And this banana, some people will say, uh, had a better taste and an overall better quality, but it was wiped out by a fungal infection. Now, a few of these bananas did definitely survive. They're not completely extinct, but it was enough to make the multinational corporations peddling bananas decide that they should use a different variety. So let's fast forward to the present day. Now, there's another looming threat of Cavendish bananas becoming uh, extinct or endangered by a similar fungal infection. However, Will this banana go extinct? The answer is probably not. Although it is true that these bananas have a lack of diversity that we find in a lot of mono-agricultural products and that we find in a lot of endangered animal populations, the truth is that just like some of these big mike bananas survive the widespread fungal infection, it's highly improbable that bananas as a whole would go extinct it's highly improbable that even Cavendish bananas would go extinct because there would still be a population of these bananas somewhere. Now, could the fungal infection spread to the point where these types of bananas are no longer commercially viable? Possibly. Let's also keep in mind that bananas, as we understand them, these bright yellow bananas, are considered kind of a fruit, sort of a dessert thing, uh, but in other countries, um, such as Uganda, bananas are a common form of food, a staple food. These would be plantains. Okay, so to sum it all up and pull all of this together, the extinction of bananas is not near as probable nor as plausible as some people may want you to believe. And that's simply because there are so many, even just the Cavendish variety, that it's highly unlikely that a disease could wipe out every single banana of that type. Uh, and secondly, there are many different forms of bananas and they fulfill different functions in people's diets around the world. So, in the mid to the long term, you will probably still be able to get the bananas that you know and love. And if for some reason you can't, odds are you'll still be able to find some type of banana to go with breakfast or any other meal of the day. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.